I'm Orange County native Suzanne here for Rogers Gardens and I'm going to be talking about bringing natives into your garden and why you should do it on so many different levels. So if you have a garden and you want to bring some native plants into it, here's, here's the reason why you might want to do it. I mean, we live in Orange County and these are our hometown plants. We have a connection to them, the land has a connection to them, and the native people who have lived here for centuries have a connection to them. I want to talk about white sage. It is such a big popular plant. The white sage is used by so many people for the scent and for the beautiful gray green that it brings into the garden. A lot of people will go out and buy sage to use for smudging practices. This is a Native American practice. We want to make it our own, so we grow our own. The reason that you don't want to take white sage that has been bought someplace else is you don't know the providence of it. You don't know where it came from. It could have been illegally harmed harvested, it could have been taken by smugglers who hire people. You just don't want to do that. You don't want to have a bad juju on a practice that you're bringing into your house to bring good vibes. So grow your own white sage, you'll know where it came from, and it will have a direct connection with your home and your life. So you already have a garden growing and you want to just maybe not kind of change the entire thing, but bring in some plants like this native sage. This is spathacea. This is called hummingbird sage because it attracts hummingbirds. And you can see the beautiful tubular flowers. They're going to bring the hummingbirds in, which will make you very happy and it'll increase the biodiversity in your garden. One of the big concerns for Orange County residents is fire prevention. And by planting native plants around the perimeter of your home, you're actually building fire resistance because these plants are made to grow with the seasons and they're gonna help you with that fire prevention. So it's like an ecosystem that you're building in your garden. In addition to bringing in birds and pollinators and all sorts of other wonderful animals that are going to live among this and feed off of it as well. So building a connection to the plants that we live with is not just saying native because native can mean throughout California, but we're talking about specifically Orange County natives, things from the Channel Islands, things from Laguna Beach, Crystal Cove, and from the foothills. Everyone knows the oak trees, they're so beautiful, um, but there are specific oak trees that grow in this area. Different oak trees grow in Northern California and up in the Sierras. So we have Romnia, which is Romnia colteri. It is a fried egg poppy. It's called a lot of different things, but this plant will get six to eight feet tall and wide. It will fill a huge area in your garden and it helps instill a sense of seasons in your garden because in the spring, it's gonna come out and grow really, really tall and big. It'll bloom in the summer. And then in the fall, it kind of dies back and that's when you're gonna chop it back. Keep in mind that adding natives will also add a sense of seasons to your garden. As as I mentioned, um, bringing natives into your garden really brings a lot of wildlife. Um, just so many environmental benefits to this, adding the pollinators, adding all the little birds and things that will help congregate around here. The birds will come to eat the insects off your plants, which is really, really great. But the wealth of yarrow that grows native here in Orange County and in all of California basically is such a great thing. So many different foliage colors. We've got this beautiful gray green, the flower colors which go from white to yellow to orange to red, all these beautiful hybrids and all of these plants are beautiful for feeding pollinators, specifically butterflies, any kind of butterfly because of this uh, kind of landing pad flower. They can sit on this and really get a lot of nutrition from the wealth of flowers that is on top of this plant. So if you've followed Rogers Gardens for any amount of time, you will know what a huge fan we are of this milkweed. This is native milkweed for Orange County. It's Asclepias fascicularis. It is the narrow leaf milkweed and it is a host plant for monarchs. So plant this and yes, you will have monarchs floating around your garden and then you're gonna plant the yarrow because that is going to be their food. This is the plant that they lay their eggs on and it will come back every single year and you can just kind of stick it in in just random places in your garden and bring the butterflies in. We also have this really cute native buckwheat. The native buckwheats will bring in other beautiful butterflies and other pollinators. So not just milkweed, 
plant a lot of different pollinator plants and you are going to have just the best morning watching your garden. It's always been said the best time to plant a tree is 20 years ago, but you can of course plant an oak right now. Plant it for yourself, plant it for your children, your grandchildren, for future residents of where you live. There is no bad time to plant an oak tree. Planting a native oak is going to give you fresh air beautiful shade and lots of gorgeous birds and all sorts of other pollinators that are going to come to your garden. The reason that we plant these gorgeous natives is almost in their simplicity. We can just watch the garden. There's not a lot of care that goes into natives, but there is so much enjoyment that comes from knowing that you've planted things that are for real. They are for this area. They bring in the right things. They give out the right things and making this connection with like a black sage or these monkey flowers is priceless. The best and my personal favorite flower of all time in addition to being our native flower is our state flower. That's the California poppy. Fall is the perfect time to plant the seeds. You can just throw them throughout your garden, and then you can have people come and look at your garden in the spring, seeing all the orange that's going to come out, it's going to grow among all your other plants, and then it will die back and return the following year. California poppies are the best way to have that beautiful spring color. And as a little bonus native plant, I just want to show you something. This is actually a native plant from Northern California, but it is a fun one. It, this is Herba Buena and it's Satyrea douglasii and it is a little vining plant. It has little teeny tiny white flowers and if you did not know this, I love this fact, the city of San Francisco was actually called Herba Buena for years and years and years until they gave it the name San Francisco because of this beautiful native plant that is absolutely fragrant when you crush it. It is the most gorgeous, spearminty, sweet scent. You can make tea with it. You can do a lot of other things with all of the beautiful um, natives, but this plant alone is a fun thing to grow in a pot and just do it for the scent. Making a connection with these plants is so easy while I'm standing here. I can smell all these plants. I can smell the beautiful Herba Buena. I can smell this amazing white sage. I can smell the black sage. And I can smell this Artemisia, which is a gorgeous little ground plant. There are a lot of different Artemisia that'll grow in this area, but this one, it gives it gives the scent of outdoor California. When you're out on a hike and you smell something beautiful and sweet, you're probably smelling Artemisia, but connect yourself to your plants. This has been such a fun thing to talk about, finding that connection with natives. Of course, the reasons for growing them are so many, but I think the best thing is that there are hometown plants. These are what we wanna grow here, and this is what we've grown up with. So plant them. Thank you so much for joining me. I would love to invite you to rogersgardens.com for all of your shopping and home needs. We also have Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and of course our famous YouTube channel where you can subscribe and learn everything you need to know about growing plants.